All right, before we begin this project, I'm gonna call a professional hand and let him do all the welding for me. Let's see if I'll answer. Hey, man, you busy? All right, you care to come over and do some welding for me? All right, how long you think it be? Just a few minutes. All right, man, sounds good. We'll see you in a minute, then. <laughs> Where's this guy at? It's been forever. What is that racket? Man, it's like every dog in the county is going off right now. What is that god awful noise? Heard you needed a welder. What is that thing? And whose kid did you steal that from? Well, where's your welder? Do you even have a welder? I don't even see one. First of all, don't be hating on a piglet. Second of all, don't you worry about how I'm gonna get things welded. I got the welder right here. Man, that's a bottle of map gas. That ain't no welder. Do you even know what the difference between TIG and MIG welding is? Don't you worry about what I use to get the job done. Yeah, I know how to pig weld or whatever you call it. Man, I'm a professional here, not you. Where did you even learn to weld at? Do it yourself, man. Since you're such a professional, I'm gonna hop on my piglet and leave, man. Like, so find somebody else to put up with this criticism. Y'all, welcome back to another. And today, we're going to be trying to figure out a way to mount a light bar on the front of my boat, but I want it where it's removable, especially during the summertime, because I ain't going to be using it then. I plan on using it mainly during duck season, and I might end up using it just a little bit as far as frog gigging or something like that goes, but like I said, primarily just wintertime use. But I have a piece of angle iron here. I'm going to end up having it where it mounts on the front, my light bar is going to attach on top of this. We're going to show you all, all the parts we got. And so far, whatever thing we've gotten done to it, y'all just stick around. Tools you're gonna need. I just got two little C-clamps here, a measuring tape, an angle grinder, and some gloves, cause you're gonna be handling that metal and sometimes it gets sharp edges. And I also got a little small welder, but it's in the shop. And um, I'm gonna use it to weld that angle iron together. But I started out with a four foot piece of inch and a half angle iron. And I just cut it down where it'll fit the front of the boat. I just laid it up here and kind of roughly measured it and then marked it up and then cut it then i'm gonna i took the other pieces of angle iron i had left and cut down to five inch pieces that way i can mount them on the inside of the boat i'm gonna weld them together like so and then i'm gonna have a um, hole screw right here where i can put a, a set screw in or just a bolt so that way i can tighten it down and unloosen it that way it'll come off and for the light bar to mount to this without having to drill through my boat, I just got some inch and a half square tubing that already had holes drilled in it. I had a three inch piece of it. And I cut them down to about one and a half inch pieces. And I got my lines marked. Right there is my spot where my, um, my light bar is going to fit. So like I said, I just, I'm going to weld it on like that. And then screw the light bar down right through that hole. And I got my centered lines too on it. So this line will be the edge of the light bar. I just come in an inch from each side from where this tubing is. And that's how big my light bar is, where to be centered up at. So we'll go ahead and start getting all this together and we'll show y'all what it looks like. This is basically gonna be how everything's gonna be mocked up. So I'm gonna run a bead down through here. And then I'm gonna weld this piece of tubing on here as well. That way I can run a bolt through, like I said, with my light bar to bolt down to that. And I'm gonna drill a hole through here. That way I can run me a screw on through it. Or like I said, a bolt to push in on it. That way it's got it kind of clamped on, same way as C-clamp's working. But I'm gonna go ahead and get everything welded up. And then
All right, so we got everything welded up. We're probably, we still got a little bit more to do. I'm gonna end up grinding some of this down and painting it. But it looks like the weather's gonna push us inside for now. So we'll see y'all in just a few minutes. If not, we'll probably have to catch y'all in another day or two when it's cleaned up and real pretty. Been a lot of rain lately. So y'all just stay tuned. So we're back out here next day. The rain pushed us inside. We got everything welded up. Now we're gonna paint it today. I just went and took it off the boat. That way I didn't get black paint all over my boat. But like I said, I just got it hung up here with some string. That way, keep it off the ground. Let's go ahead and start painting it. So we got her back on the boat. Let y'all take a little look at this. See how it's all come together. I decided not to put any set screws because as close as I took and welded them on there, it's really too tight to put any. And I don't think it's coming nowhere because I'm having to take a uh, claw hammer and use the claws on it to ease it, work it back up, and using one to tap it back down. And I really don't plan on going super fast in this little boat, especially with a little bit four and a half horse motor. But go ahead and mount this light bar on. That way y'all can see what it looks like sitting on top. All right, John. See, we went ahead and got the light bar attached. Just as simple as putting a bolt on each side, bolting it down, and tightening it up with a wrench and a screwdriver. But it's pretty stable. I don't believe it's going to go nowhere. Hope y'all enjoyed the build, and hope you come back to see another.